Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker is now just 79 days away from its official release by Disney and Lucasfilm that is all set and ready to end the sequel trilogy and the Skywalker saga itself. This is Mike Zero, make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, what's really intriguing about Episode 9 is that we do know that this film is of course going to contain many different twists and turns as well as revelations in this film that's going to bring us back to of course the prequel trilogy and the original trilogy and view those movies in different ways. Now that's a big risk by Disney and Lucasfilm because it's all a matter of how it's going to be executed on the big screen and whether or not fans are going to resonate with that particular, you know, twist and or turn that's going to connect to the prequels and the originals. Now on top of all of this, these past couple of weeks or so we've been learning a whole lot more about this film and when it all comes down to one of the concept art descriptions, this is where things begin to get very intense for episode 9 involving Kylo Ren. Now specifically shot descriptions consisting of a sequence where it's explained that Kylo Ren is sitting inside of his chambers where he is said to be meditating through the ways of the dark side while holding his grandfather's melted helmet. It's explained that while he is holding Darth Vader's melted helmet, he begins to hear sinister whispers reaching out to him about the unknown regions and about an enemy that is rising that is very powerful through the ways of the Force. It's explained that Kylo Ren believes that these whispers speaking in ancient Sith language is said to be Darth Vader's spirit that Kylo believes he is communicating with his own grandfather. However, in reality, it's described that Kylo is really communicating with Palpatine from the unknown regions from afar, that Palpatine is manipulating Ren into finding Sidious since Palpatine wants something from Kylo Ren in particular. Now, another sequence involves a moment in which Kylo Ren is said to be placing the melted Vader helmet next to a brand new Darth Vader helmet that is currently being worked on where it's explained that half of the mask is finished, where the other half is full of framework with a red eye lens. It's explained that Palpatine wants to use Kylo Ren for his own power and wants him to find Rey as they will be using him in order to make Palpatine far more powerful than ever before. So let's go over a couple of parts about this. Now, the one thing about Episode 9 is that we do know that this movie is, of course, going to show how much of an expert puppet master Palpatine really is over the Skywalkers, right? We do know that Palpatine is going to be a puppet master once again in this movie and that there's really going to be a lot of tricks by Palpatine in this movie by J.J. And the fact that Ian McDermott is back once more to portray the role of Palpatine and in order to do something incredible, in order to give us a different version or take on Sidious, I think really is a big deal by Disney and Lucasfilm and the fact that they're trying to do their very best in order to give us all these different revelations. Now, the one thing that really stands out to me the most here is how this is actually said to be a moment that's going to change how we view The Force Awakens. Now, this is said to be a scene in the first act of episode 9, where Kylo Ren is sitting inside of his chambers, where as he's holding the melted Darth Vader helmet, he begins to hear the voice of, of course, an ancient Sith, or ancient Sith language being spoken to Kylo Ren. However, Kylo Ren believes that this is actually his grandfather that he's speaking to, and that really does change how we view The Force Awakens now, doesn't it? When we look at The Force Awakens, I would say at the very end of the first act of Episode 9, give or take, we see Kylo Ren talking to the melted Darth Vader helmet, where now, all along, it was actually Palpatine reaching out to Kylo Ren and trying to manipulate him to find him over in the Unknown Regions. Since Palpatine wants to use Kylo Ren in order to become more powerful than ever before, and that Kylo Ren is actually going to search for Rey under the command of Palpatine at a certain point in time in this movie. So, that pretty much tells us that there will be scenes of Palpatine in the first act of episode, of episode 9, as well as in the very beginning of the second act of this movie, that's really going to really give us a better view of the whole entire, you know, connection between Kylo Ren and Palpatine and how that's going to work in The Rise of Skywalker. Now, the other thing that really stands out to me a lot here and really impresses me is how Kylo Ren is said to be working on a brand new Darth Vader helmet. He's using the melted one as reference material and is actually developing a brand new Darth Vader helmet that is actually said to be nearly completed, where half of the Vader mask is complete, where the other half is all framework. Now, this tells us and could very well hint that Kylo Ren actually an, intends to use the Darth Vader helmet at one point in time in his life, or is trying to respect his grandfather's legacy in order to truly 
pretty much honor his own grandfather in a way where he could always constantly remind himself that, you know, his father, or should I say his grandfather, uh, did not necessarily fail and inspired Kylo Ren to embrace the dark side of the Force. So, the whole entire thing here with J.J. is that he's really trying to make this film the darkest film of the Skywalker saga. That's what he wants to do with Star Wars Episode Nine. That's his big plan in order to really deliver an experience for the fans that's going to stand out and stand on its own from, of course, The Last Jedi and The Force Awakens as a whole. So, anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all this below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.